Good evening and welcome to this service of Conklin. My name is Karen. I'm one of the priests at St. Paul's Blur Street and it's great to have you worshiping with me this evening. This is kind of a Thanksgiving edition of Compline, not much different, but a little more emphasis on joy, I think, in Thanksgiving. Uh, so it's good to have you here. If you'd like to follow along in the order for service, you can find that in the video description. And otherwise, you're welcome just to pray along with me silently. And let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And now let's take a moment uh, for silence to recollect ourselves before God, uh, to remember who we are and who we belong to. And let's do that now. And now lifting ourselves to God in the words of the confession. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Along our Thanksgiving theme, I chose a different hymn uh, for this evening, and like usual, it'll be spoken, not sung. Um, but I chose the three verses from Romans 11, Romans 11, 33 to 36, where Paul sings this beautiful doxology. I thought it was appropriate to today. Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his, his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. That's Romans eleven thirty three to 36. For our psalm this evening, we'll be saying Psalm 134 the little psalm. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. For our time of scripture reading this evening, I'm actually going to give a, or read a short reflection instead, um, which is optional here. And I'm going to read one from this book, The Joy of the Saints. It's by Martin Luther, and it's called Joy in Believing. Christ is a God of joy. A Christian should be and must be a person of joy. The devil is the spirit of sadness, but God is the spirit of joy, and he is our salvation. We have more occasion for joy than sadness. The reason is we believe in the living God, and Christ lives, and we shall live also. God can make himself known only through those works of his which he reveals in us, which we feel and experience within ourselves. When the experience is to learn that he is a God, who looks into the depths and helps principally the poor, despised, afflicted, miserable, forsaken, and all those who are of no account. At that very moment, a love for him is created and surges up from the heart's core. The heart overflows with gladness and leaps and dance for, dances for the joy it has found in God. In this experience, the Holy Spirit is active and has taught us, in the flash of a moment, the deep secret of joy. That's called The Joy in Believing and by Martin Luther, coming from the book The Joy of the Saints. And now moving on to our responsories. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now the Gospel Canticle, the Song of Simeon, beginning and ending with the refrain. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. For our time of prayer this evening, we'll do as usual. We'll have a time of intercession, uh, raising up our cares to God, and then a time of thanksgiving. So I invite you to lift up the cares of your heart uh, before God right now, whatever they may be, whether it's to do with Thanksgiving weekend and how that'll be different this year, or our friends and family who may be going through hard times, struggling with illness, financial burdens, Pray for our leaders, their wisdom, for the bigger global problems, for the election down in the States that's coming up, for the places of unrest and war and turmoil in the world, and all those who are being held against their will and unjustly. and any other cares or concerns that may be on your heart this evening. And now let's turn to Thanksgiving. Let's raise our song of praise and gratitude to God for the many things he has given us, uh, including and especially the gift of salvation. Thanking him for his joy that he places in our hearts the gifts of family, friends, neighbors, food and clothing and shelter, the beauty of the fall, and any other things that may come to your heart right now. And now let's wrap up our prayer with the Collect. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And now let's pray that prayer that Jesus taught all of his friends to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Christ, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ, be near you to defend you, within you to refresh you, around you to preserve you, behind you to justify you 
above you to bless you, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend, whatever that entails, and I will see you again next week. Take care.